Hey guys, I know that I start off every video with an apology, like sorry I haven't been here in so long, I've been so busy, but honestly guys, I have been so, so busy. So I do apologize for just now getting on here. School started, I just met my preschoolers last week, and I'm trying to get my personal training business up and running, the website, the training guides, everything. It's just been crazy, and I've been studying for my personal training test. I am doing this now because this is kind of like a break and it's fun for me and I get to put on makeup and I get to talk to you guys, so thank you for being a part of my much needed break. Anyways, so today's look is kind of just a classic eye with a red lip. The red lip is the main attraction here and I have this new lipstick that I can't wait to share with you guys because it is amazing. I absolutely love it, like you're going to fall in love with it too, so if you are interested in learning to do this look. Just stay tuned. As always, I'm going to start out with my eye makeup just because I feel like eyeshadow can be messy and when your foundation is done, it sometimes trickles down onto it and then it just turns into a big mess. So this way, if it does trickle down, you can just swipe it away with um, makeup remover or a makeup pad and really no harm done and then you can put your foundation on. First off, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Stay Don't Stray. Um, primer by Benefit and I'm so surprised that I've never used this before just because Benefit was one of my first brands that I ever used. Um, I started wearing mascara only in 8th grade and I actually used Bad Gal mascara back then um, so I've been using it for quite a long time. So I just put on a pump on my finger just a little bit you don't need that much I'm gonna rub it on both of my fingers and I'm just going to apply it on my eyelids. I love this primer just because it really brightens up my eyes. And it's creamy. And it really keeps the products that you lay over top of it on. If that makes sense. It leaves... It keeps the eyeshadow on is what I was trying to say. If you have extra, you can also run it up through your brows. If you are going to be using brow product, it will um, help keep that in place as well. Speaking of brows, I'm so, so stoked because mine have grown back. If you remember my brow tutorial a couple months ago, they were pretty much like non-existent. I went crazy with the tweezers and I was devastated and that video took like a lot of work just to even get them to show up. So now that I have like not plucked them in quite some time, they finally grown back. I'm so so, so excited. I still do use um, brow product just because I do like a put together brow, but I don't need to do as much work as I was before. I am going to start out with the color Wedge by MAC. Um, this is a great soft, soft brown that I'm absolutely obsessed with lately. It goes great for this eye just because we're not going to put a lot of product on the eye because our lip is going to be our main attraction. I'm just going to pat some on the lid. Just like that. You can bring it up into the crease. This eye really isn't that complicated. It's something simple. If you just want like a classic look that's easy and you can just get out the door, this look is perfect for you. I'm going to do it to the other eye. I'm just using a semi-fluffy brush. It's the MAC 217 brush. Bring it up towards the brow. We'll be adding a highlight there later. And just back into the crease. You can pack more into the crease just to give that more of a definition. And then also bring that up towards the brow. I will be taking um, a MAC 286 brush and the color Embark. This one is one of my favorite um, eyeshadows by MAC. It, as you can tell, it's like totally beat up. But it's such an awesome brown. And I also use it for the outer edges of my brow. It's like a multi-use color and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take that color and I'm just going to put it on the outer corners of my eyes just to make those pop a little bit. This color goes a long way, you don't need a lot. Just softly work that into the crease. I love this brush. Uh, the MAC lady, the MAC lady, the lady at the MAC store convinced me to get it. 
and because I was looking for a smaller fluffy brush because I wanted just more more precision when I was doing my makeup but she convinced me that this one was okay to use and so she convinced me to get it and I'm so glad she did. Next I'm going to take the color Floof by MAC which is my one of my favorite highlights in the entire world. It's a great um, color to put underneath the brow. I'm using Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. I'm just going to lightly put that under my brow for a little bit of a highlight. And also into the inner corners. You can use liner with this look if you want. It's great for going out at night paired with a liner or you can leave it as is. I just some falsies and it just gives you a really clean simple look and so I'm gonna go with that today I am going to curl my lashes beforehand I always curl my lashes and put on a coat of mascara before I um, put on my eyelashes this is just because um, if you don't curl your lashes they can kind of like go all over the place or stick straight out and you can really tell that they're not blending with your natural lashes which is a no-go I am going to be using L'Oreal Voluminous um, Mascara it's my favorite as I've said many times before so I'm just gonna throw on a coat of that even if you don't want to wear falsies you could just throw on a coat of mascara and be good for this look but I love falsies so I'm just gonna pop some glue on these Ardell Wispies Ardell Wispies are my go-to. I go and I try and try all these other kinds of falsies, but they're just not for me. Ardell Wispies are hands down my favorite. They aren't like too much. They're not too over the top. So that's why I love these. So I'm just going to pop these bad boys on. Sometimes they go on easy. Hopefully these did. And sometimes they can be a pain in my butt. But today, I think they're going to work out for me. And I think we're good to go with those. Um, let those dry a bit. And then I like to run through um, some mascara, um, just so they bond with your natural lashes. And it helps them stay on better. So I am going to apply my face makeup now. Um, it's nothing new. You've seen me do this before. But again, um, it's nothing new. You've seen me do this before. So I'm just going to run through it really quickly. I am still using the L'Oreal Revital Look Miracle Blur. I absolutely love this stuff. It makes my pores look smaller. You don't need a lot. And it makes my fine lines just kind of disappear. One product that is new is this. Yves Saint Laurent foundation. It is their illuminating foundation. I'm not going to try and pronounce the, the other part of it, but it's fantastic. I picked it up at Sephora and I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to put a pump on my hand. I don't need a lot. And I'm going to take my stippling brush as you've seen um, in my contouring video. I'm just going to go through this really fast. I will link my contouring video down below so you can see the whole thing. I'm going to be putting on my um, concealer now, which is the Instant Age Remind by Maybelline. This is in the color Light Pale. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I saw so many people using it. I never jumped on the bandwagon until recently. Another product that I absolutely love that I got is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It's amazing. It keeps your makeup on. It smells good. It's, it's just fantastic. I got my mom and my sister to buy it when we were at Sephora. And a trick I've been doing is just spraying it onto my beauty blender and letting it, you know, kind of dry. Rather than running the beauty blender under um, water and then squeezing out the excess water, this is like, I mean, it's kind of the same effect, but it's with a uh, setting spray, which is awesome. So I just let that dry a little bit. Now I'm going to take my NYX blotting powder in the light medium. I love this stuff, still swear by it.
All right, now that that's done, I am going to be using um, Melba by MAC. I absolutely love this blush. I've had it forever, um, and I'm going to use a contour blush brush from Sephora. I'm just going to pat that on the apples of the cheek. Do a nice little smile there. And I'm done with blush. I do like to, I do like to take that same blotting powder and just get a nice soft brush and run it down here just to blend any harsh lines on the chin and here as well. You can do it up in the T-zone area and a little bit down the nose just to blend in that, just to blend in that um, contour. I'm gonna run through my quick brow tutorial. I'm using the Tarte Taupe Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. It's my absolute favorite. It's super easy to use. I'm just going to feather that into my brow. I'm using their, the brush that it came with, which is awesome. And run that that way. Feather it this way. Now that my brows have grown back, like I said, the, my brow routine is so simple now. And I'm so happy. I need to do like an updated one that isn't so fast for you guys if you would like to see that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to take the MAC color and bark and I'm going to use it on the outer part of my lid, on the outer part of my eyebrow with the MAC 283 brush. It's an angled brush. Um, I like the outer edges of my brow to be a little bit more strong and bold and darker. So. That's why I do this. You don't have to do this. But it also gives the illusion that your brow is fading from dark to light, which is exactly what you want. You don't want it to be too harsh in the middle or else you look kind of gray. I also go back to the Tarte brush and I use the spoolie part just to blend everything out. Really simple. I can't believe that I did that to my brows because that was the easiest brow routine ever. Just to finish up on the eyes, I'm going to be taking the I'm going to be taking the MAC 242 brush and that color wedge again and just work that softly under my eyes. With soft strokes, you don't want it to be too crazy. You just want to give it a little bit of smoky definition. Do the same on the other eye. There we go. Now I'm just going to put mascara on those bottom lashes. And then we get to move on to the main event, which is the lips. And I can't wait to show you this lip color. Oh my gosh. So I am going to be taking um, the NYX lip lining pen in Ruby. And I'm just going to line my lips. And bring this a little bit closer. Sorry, I just got really quiet there, but who can talk while they're putting on the liner? If you can, you're like very talented. So I line my lips, and now I'm going to be putting on the Kat Von D lipstick in Adora. And let me tell you guys, this stuff is amazing. I already am obsessed with Kat Von D products, and then I saw this one in Sephora. I feel like I'm in Sephora all the time from this video. Sephora, 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 sorry. I'm obsessed. But I went in with my girlfriends who we were like, let's find some fun lipstick for the night out. And I came across this one and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, guys, for reals. It's like a ruby red slipper. So I'm just going to put it on and then I'll show you the color up close. Because I look crazy with just a red lip liner on. The gist on this lipstick is the pigment is beautiful, the color is beautiful, and there's this amazing shimmer to it. It's not too crazy, but it's definitely there. And it just reminds me of Dorothy's shoes, and I just love it! That is the color. How fantastic is that? I mean, this really just doesn't even do it justice, but it's beautiful. I'm just going to take this hair down so I don't look um, kooky and I can look put together. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'll see you guys later.